good morning happy thursday to you happy throwback thursday happy sweet 16 happy shaka khan day shaka khan shaka khan how are you today is her birthday i'm every woman welcome my name is nichelle with 2xl with nichelle.com hey how you doing miss credit credit LLC. What's going on? Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for being a part of my space. Happy Thursday to you guys. We're going to talk about real quick here, power punch for your Thursday morning to get you on the go so you can have a great day and you can plan and rebuild in the process. See, everybody always talking about rebuilding, you know, and I am a basketball fanatic, okay? <laughs> I mean, I love this stuff. I've been rolling around with my kids in basketball since they were like two years old. They've been playing, played with the Y, played with uh, specialty select teams and all that stuff. So I love this time of the year. March Madness is one of my favorite times of the year, not to mention the transformation from winter to spring. But let me share with you something that I've learned in this process of being a basketball mom, of being a fanatic about basketball. I never played it in high school. I ran track, track, but that was about the extent of my sports career. And I stopped that in junior high school because, um, look, you know how it is when you get in high school, what you go through, okay? So I didn't go beyond that, but I wish I would have because I love the game of sports so much. Let me share with you why I love the game of sports so much. No matter what team you are on everybody comes together why because they want to win they want that championship ring so today with the sweet 16 starting then we go to the elite eight then the final four but then there's only one winner so somebody is going to be defeated out of all the what 67 68 teams somebody has been defeated so the reality is defeat is going to always approach us how do you handle defeat are you a good winner or are you a sorry loser? Okay, so defeat really. Hey, welcome. How you doing, Z? So when we talk about defeat, we have to look at really how it impacts our life because some people don't deal with defeat well. Napoleon Hill say, stated, when defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound. Rebuild those plans and set sail once more towards your goal and so this leads me to believe that we must always be working on our goals because defeat is evident i mean it's inevitable it's going to happen how you deal with defeat is something else so we look at all the transition that's going around in the world of basketball coaches are leaving my Quanzo martin is coming back to mizzou hometown favorite east st louis illinois so proud of him and he's going to bring him a powerhouse back with him his staff so when we look at that we look at the transition of people in where they are and where they expect to be all of the firing and hiring of new coaches and stuff like that because people want to win. The bottom line, no one wants to be a loser. Hello, how are you today, Karina? What's going on with you in your world? And so when we look at it, nobody wants to be a loser. Everybody wants to win. But the reality is we're going to be defeated. So how do you handle defeat? Do you get back up, keep going, achieving your goals? Or do you just give up and say, it's not my time? You know, I always talk to my Christian family because I hear that all the time. When What God has for me is for me. And yes, that is so true. What God has for you is for you and nobody can take it away from you. But God says, if I give you the skills, then you need to go out there and make it happen. Again, faith without action is dead, okay? So the reality of the fact is if you are not one of those people that handle defeat well, my question to you is what is your plan? What is your plan? What is your plan going forward when defeat happens? Because see, defeat can be very detrimental. Defeat can make you feel like you've lost everything when in actuality, it's a rebuilding process. So don't let defeat keep you from achieving your goals. In fact, take that defeat and use it as a method so that you can get to that next level in your success game, okay? Winning is nothing but a mindset. That's all it is. Hi, Hooligan, how are you? It's nothing but a mindset. If you stay focused on your ultimate goal, where it is that you wanna go, and you put everything in place, you must always keep that mindset. All right. Just because you fail does not mean that you've lost. 
It means that it's time for you to restructure that plan that you had in place because evidently there was a loophole. Evidently, there was something there that did not get you to that next stage of winning in that championship. So today, your reminder on this throwback Thursday, on this day when defeat probably will happen in the workplace, in the business world, in life, I want you to stay focusing on your goal. Get back up, dust your shoulders off, and keep on going. Don't ever give up. Hello from Israel. Don't ever give up because your time will come. Each and every day, our time comes. Are you prepared? Are you ready? Are you willing? And are you able to take your life to the next level by not giving up, being determined, being destined for the opportunity that stands right in front of you? It's waiting on you. Are you ready for it? So yes, on this Thursday, Throwback Thursday, make it a great day. Shout out to all the special people that have birthdays today. And shout out to those people who say that it can't happen. Awesome. Yes. Hey, thank you. How you doing, Golden? Thank you for being here. So on this day, keep going forward. Be the best that you can possibly be. Don't ever get back. Give up. Look back, but always remember that the way that you get to the next place is to look forward. What's your next stop? What's your next destination in your levels of success in your life? Never give up. I'm Nichelle with 2 Excel with Nichelle.com. You can connect with me daily on Instagram and Twitter. And here on Periscope, I'm here every other day, most days, at Nichelle Womack. Thank you for those beautiful hearts. Thank you to all the people that come in, the replay viewers. Thank you for coming in and tapping that screen and sharing your love. Be blessed and highly favored in everything that you do. And may everything, everything, everything a good one. Thank you. You do. May it turn to gold. Blessings and peace unto you. Bye-bye. Make it great. Talk to you later.